Hello, Janelle. Today, Sarah at school told me her granddad had a stroke too. His mouth went lopsided and he spoke a little funny. Now he mostly sits around watching the telly. I don't think Gran would enjoy that. She'd feel like she was giving up. She'd want to keep moving. Keep doing things. Gran always says. the world your kindness and it will return it threefold the more positive energy and kindness you give the world the more you get back when mr. Parry's lawn got too high gran cut it for him for the community center meals she baked cakes Even does the unthinkable. She changed Ben's smelly nappies. We could do with kindness right now. Someone better step up. Me. Starting with. Bringing world peace? Cooking for the elderly? Cutting Mr. Parry's lawn? Tidying my room? Bringing order to chaos? A mighty struggle needs a suitable tagline. It's tidying time! And then I did the washing up from breakfast. Dad said, It's a miracle. Then he bowed at my feet. He's such a complete numpty. But it made Mum laugh. And when we got to the hospital later, Gran was sitting in a chair and looking out the window. She was smiling. So all the things I've been doing have been working. I just have to do more. There was kale for tea which is a kind of vegetable torture. But I told myself that if I could eat all of it, then Gran would be even better tomorrow. I'm on fire today. I ran up the stairs two at a time just to top things up. Pinky was very impressed and slept on my feet all 
again, journal. I couldn't sleep. I guess I felt a bit silly. I mean, who cares if I eat my kale? Well, Dad, maybe? But does any of this really make a difference? It's just, if there's a sliver of a chance, it actually does. I want to believe in it. Sarah told me that when her granddad was sick, she used to pray. I don't exactly know how that works, but best to hedge my bets. Please, 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 make Gran well. Sarah's family are pretty religious, not like mum and dad. I don't know that much about religion, actually. I like the stories, especially the one about the Ark and rescuing all the animals. was raised Catholic, but I never really heard her talk about God, apart from that time she dropped the yogurts in Tesco's. We took care of the mess before the staff noticed. offered to pay for them. I asked her once. She said, if there is a god, they're in our actions. How we help and love one another. Seems right to me. So what should I do? I'm going to bring in my story next time we go to the hospital. I can read it to her. I think she'd like that. Maybe if I do a really good job, she can come home in time for Ben's birthday. But first, I need to get on with the story. Having escaped the flaming caves, Lump and Robin ventured into a tenebrous forest. Writing Lump is going to be fun. But if she's not so angry anymore, she might need another character flaw. Maybe... Uncontrollable cravings for... Gentle sunlight streamed across their faces. Sun! I'm misty. Oh, sky fire is warm. Like love! That's the dragon! We've got to follow it! Oh. 
follow it. Let's go, Lum. Lum no likes to follow anything that goes. Ah! Grey forest, dark, foreboding. Robin didn't care. Oh, you missed it. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. You miss home, but you leave it. Robin couldn't help but smile at Lump's silliness. Her fiery friend was finding a place near and dear to her heart. Suddenly, a strange sour smell cut through the air. Lump knows it, that smell. What is it, Lump? Looks like some kind of fruit. <laughs> a fruit? <laughs> yum, yum. Lump loves fruit. Phew. This is making my eyes water. You really like this lump? You are a strange creature. We need to go. Now. But... But the fruit... Okay... Shadows deepened in the ravaged forest. We're getting closer. Oh, do we want to be closer? Look, Lum! Dragonfire! It's here.
A deep rift yawned before them. No! No! No, no! We're so close! Robin felt her resolve melt. I need to find the dragon. I promised Elf's Braver. Just what am I doing out here? All by myself? Silly human. Lump not left is in food. Thanks, Lump. Robin knew she wouldn't swap that little ball of fire for anything. Wow! You okay, Lump? Little dizzy for good! What a rush! No doubt. Something strong and very, very large had been here recently. There it is. Dragon. Robin pursued the beast with little thought for her own safety. You won't get away from me again. I won't let you. Ah! No! Come back! Come back here! The water's calm. Robin realized the dragon had gone far, far below. No. I... I... Her hope was shattered. I can't. It's okay, human. We find dragon again. Have another go, right? Okay, lump help. But how? Most of the pieces are gone. I can't even fix it. Look! You get on this, okay? I 
don't even know where I'm going anymore. What am I doing? I'm such an idiot. What did I think I was going to do if I caught it? You tried though, human. That's important. Look! One of them's little glowy things you likes. A thing! You likes things too, right? Huh? That's strange. Maybe there are some people around here after all. Ancient energy stirred, reaching into the place beyond. Ah, oh, it feels good to be back. Already? It's only been a few millennia. Is it not wonderful to see light again? To feel sun? I was just getting comfortable in the howling void. Who are you two? Ooh, ancient ones. Thought you was a myth. Oh, no, no, my little friend. We are very real. No, we're not. You're imagining us. Go away now. Now we're here, what can we do to help you? Lump! could help us get to the dragon. But nothing is free in this market or in life. You must provide three offerings to the flame. Should we? If help human, if it make human happy, lump say do it. Lovely to see you both. So, what is this place? Market of the Mo 
lost and the forgotten. Things end up here that have been cast aside or are no longer useful. After a time, so were we. No one came here. No one sought us. I thought we would forget ourselves, but you brought us back. You said you could help. Yes. But to give, we must also receive. I don't have money. Then give a kindness. You are delightfully fluffy. I could hug you. How kind of you to say. Now I will return the favor. To get your wish, you must submit an offering of hope to the flames. Something dear to your heart. Elder Raven gave me this. A pendant gleamed with hopeful memories. I don't know if I should. It was the last thing that she gave me. A wise person once said that no one ever got anything just by wanting. Okay, you're right. A crack and a spark, and the pendant was gone in the flames. I said go away. I need help. And what do you expect me to do about it? Go away. This is a market, right? You have to help me if I give you something. Look, buy help. It's not the kind you need. It isn't? Why? I trade in oblivion. I feast on memories. Complaining to me when there's a big dark hole in your head? What memory are you prepared to consign to the flames? Take another memory? The last offering must keep our fire burning. A gesture of hope, a friendship. But it cannot be given by you. And we've already given you something, so we're out. <laughs> what about love? You have something to give? Sure, I got love. You would give yourself to help your friend. Of course. Lum, you don't have to do this. There must be another way. This is important to human. You freed Lump. You gave Lump memories. Lump want to give you something too. Thank 
As Little Lump jumped into the fire, the flames began to burn, larger and brighter. Robin felt a change come over her. Slits opened in her neck. Gills! She could now breathe underwater. The wish has been granted. Time for us to go. Hope you like your gift. <laughs> I'll never forget what you did. I should go to the lake. The loss of Lump weighed heavily upon her. Where once there was light, was now darkness. Where there was noise, only cold silence remained. But she could not let Lump's sacrifice be in vain. She needed to get to the lake and use her newfound powers to pursue the dragon. The lake looked murky, but she had to brave its depths. 